everyone. Today we're going to be wiring up a PNP sensor to our input of our PLC. And the first thing to do is actually look over on the website of your sensor you're trying to connect. In our case here, this is the uh, uh, part number. It's actually a dash 04 PBS. The only difference is my sensor is wired. Um, so what we'll see is um, this has actually a quick connect on it, but it's the same sensor itself. So if we look at the specifications and we go down here, um, what we can do is we can look down here and what you'll see is the output type is actually a PNP. So we know that's a PNP, which means pause is switching or sourcing the load. And we did a, um, a thread a long time ago or a post a long time ago on um, a quick way of wiring NPN and PNP. And we basically said that the switch itself um, acts, or the PLC itself acts as a load for the sensor. The switch, actually, if it's uh, positive switching or PMP, positive switching, or negative switching, uh, NPN, um, it really determines and where the common sits and the common point for my input on my PLC. So if we look at my PLC here, you'll see that I have my um, common, which is down here, which is my blue wire. Then I have my input, which is my black wire, and my supply coming, which is my brown wire. And my brown wire is actually going down, and it's con connecting to uh, my positive voltage. My blue wire is connecting to my negative voltage, and on my PLC here, I have uh, 300 milliamps of DC power, so I'm powering up this unit. So, and what you see is, so our diagram actually looks similar to what you see here. So there's my load of my PLC coming in right now. So my brown wire is going to my positive um, power supply here. My black wire is my opposite load and my blue wire is going to my zero volts. So I'm switching this to the positive, this load or the input to the positive. That's what a good way of thinking about it. So we'll power up the PLC. And once we power up that PLC, what you'll notice is that um, my, my run light and my power light are on. And now nothing really happens until I actually put metal in front of my proximity sensor. And when I do, you actually see that the proximity sensor lights up and my input also lights up. All right, that's it for now. If you like this video, please give us a thumbs up. You can also go over to accautomation.ca and you'll see the, the links also, everything that we talked about in this uh, video, with links down below and on the website. All right, and if you like this and give us a thumbs up on YouTube, it'll be great and other people can find this information. You can also um, subscribe to us on YouTube and you can also go over to accautomation.ca and subscribe to our website there. When you do, every time we publish new content, you will get updated immediately and also you will get two free ebooks, one on robust data logging and another on uh, numbering systems in the PLC. And one other thing, if uh, to help us out, that's two things already. The third thing is if you tell a friend or colleague about the site. Alright, thanks very much for watching. Have a good day.